mammoth, dodo bird, Tasmanian tiger, or even prehistoric dire wolf. These long extinct species could one day return to our planet thanks to new methods of genetic engineering. It may sound crazy, but the biotechnology company Colossal Biosciences has already announced the birth of prehistoric young dire wolves. Is it a groundbreaking path to saving ecosystems or a risky game with genetics that might have unexpected consequences? Let's take a look. One of the main drivers of this revolution is the company Colossal Biosciences, which ambitiously plans to bring back mammoths or the Tasmanian tiger. Scientists do not want to stop at creating exotic animals for hobby breeding, but they want to return these creatures to the wild to help regenerate endangered areas or slow down climate change and strengthen the genetic diversity of existing of species. The last mammoths went extinct about 4,000 years ago. Their extinction was the result of a combination of climate changes and hunting by of species. Now their former home, the Arctic, is threatened by massive thawing of permafrost, which functions as a giant freezer of the planet. Inside this permanently frozen soil lies organic material that would start to rot upon thawing and release enormous amounts of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. And here comes the idea to bring mammoths back to the frozen areas. Scientists therefore dream that a genetically modified hybrid of a mammoth and an Asian elephant could help slow down permafrost melting. In order to make such a comeback possible at all, laboratories use a combination of ancient DNA from fossil finds and genetic sequences of the closest living relatives of the extinct animals. Scientists plan to merge the genome of the mammoth with that of the Asian elephant, which share more than 98% of the same DNA. In laboratories, they are trying to reconstruct the key mammoth genes such as thick fur, insulating fat layers, or adaptation to low temperatures. This was already demonstrated in practice on mouse fur. First, cell lines of the mammoth-elephant hybrid are created, which are cloned in artificial embryos. These should then be placed into surrogate elephant mothers or artificial wombs, which the company is also developing. Colossal Biosciences anticipates that, by the middle of the next decade, the first individuals resembling ancient mammoths could be born. To move beyond just theories, the company recently introduced the first revived creature from the Ice Age. Through genetic modifications, it created three wolf pups, Romulus, Ramus, and Khaleesi, which bear genes of the long-extinct dire wolves, the legendary predators from the last Ice Age. Using genetic editing, they inserted 20 key genes obtained from fossils up to 70,000 years old into gray wolf cells. The result is animals with thick fur, white coats, and a size exceeding regular wolves by up to 20%. The animals are currently living at a secret location, but the technology that enabled this might help save endangered species in the future, such as the red wolf. Most people know dire wolves primarily from fantasy series or from various video games and books. The creator of the legendary series Game of Thrones himself had the chance to see the ancient wolves. Half-year-old puppies look cute, but they already weigh nearly 40 kilograms. When fully grown, their weight can reach 100 kilograms, just like their prehistoric ancestors' patterns. The genetic modification of fur color to white can be considered a purely marketing move. Prehistoric wolves could undoubtedly have had white fur, but there is no evidence that it was their typical trait. However, white predators are more striking and notably resemble the mentioned series wolves from Game of Thrones. The sponsor of this channel is Buddy, your mentor and AI friend. Just enter Buddy FM and you can try it for free. Next on the list is the Tasmanian tiger, also known as the thylacine. The last specimen died in the 1930s, but the company has relatively good quality DNA samples and a comparative genome of a small marsupial, which is a suitable candidate for modification into a tiger form. It will be more difficult with the dodo bird, as its DNA is older and less preserved. The dodo became extinct in the 17th century, so the remaining DNA samples are much less complete than those of the Tasmanian tigers or mammoths, which froze in permafrost. Some experts point out that these are not prehistoric animals in the true sense of the word. No animal species is resurrected exactly in the original in form. Rather, hybrid organisms may arise that can be physically and behaviorally very close to the extinct species, but genetically, it will never be a 100% copy. Many experts are sounding the alarm that original ecosystems have dramatically changed over thousands of years, 
and that the newly created animals might not have anyone to teach them to function as their ancient predecessors. Questions also remain about whether creating a genetic hybrid can truly be called saving an extinct species, or whether the enormous investments should be devoted to protecting current species instead nature. The company indeed has enormous financial and investor support. The company has already secured $450 million from investors and more are coming in. However, Colossal Biosciences argues that their goal is not just the creation of spectacular animals, but also the development of new technologies that can be used for the conservation of current endangered species. For example, the company funds research on vaccines for elephants or a project aimed at increasing genetic diversity in critically endangered white rhinos. Besides mammoths and the dodo bird, there are several other species we have lost in recent history. For example, the passenger pigeon, once the most numerous bird of North America, which became extinct at the beginning of the 20th century due to excessive hunting and deforestation. If it were possible to return it to the landscape, it could restore its established ecological function. There is consideration of reviving aurochs, the ancient ancestors of cattle, which could contribute to the restoration of natural of pastures. Projects that recently seemed like scenes from a movie are starting to write a new chapter in the history of our planet. The arrival of small prehistoric wolves into the world is just the first sign of things to come. Suggesting that we will likely not only witness the offspring born with the genes of ancient creatures, but also engage in a serious discussion on how to integrate these resurrected species into landscapes that have fundamentally changed in the meantime. This technology is changing our concept nature, and only the future will show whether we face ecological salvation or more unexpected problems. For more content about future technologies, click on like and subscribe. And don't forget to share your opinion on the revival of long extinct species.